हेलो ऑल डिग्री रेसिपेंट्स आर रिक्वेस्टेड टू प्लीज कम इन साइड द हॉल ऑल डिग्री रेसिपेंट्स सभी अंदर आ जाए हॉल में starting the program with the blessing of goddess saraswati so first of all saraswati vandana will be played
request the director come chairman board of governors to kindly declare the 19th convocation of dr b r ambedkar national institute of technology open i declare the 19th convocation of dr b r ambedkar national institute of technology open I request the director come chairman board of governors to kindly present his report sir please <clears throat> honorable chief guest dr samir v kamat ji secretary department of defense research and development and chairman drdo members of a board of governors senate faculty staffs graduating students and their parents members of a media and invited dignitaries ladies and gentlemen i am extremely glad to welcome all to the 19th convocation of nit jalandhar congratulation to highly capable graduating students and their parents engineers play crucial role in shaping the world their role is paramount within the society india is a second largest nation of a producing engineers we are proud of our engineers due to which india holds a unique position in the world we have become a resilient nation due to of unwavering commitment of our engineers these are engineers who turn cool idea into real world solutions india it industry that will reach approximately 350 million dollar by the 2026 has provided a financial power to indian economy we are witnessing an accelerating pace in our technology sector that is likely to evolve into a 500 billion us dollar industry by 2030 it is a technology regeneration era for india currently employing 5.4 billion individuals in a tech industry in a such scenario it's give me a immense pleasure to host today convocation in which dr b r ambedkar national institute of technology is going to add yet another flats of a high vibrant competent enthusiastic engineers scientists managers and researcher for the progress of our country and society besides other things another important responsibility that india presently oh it's achieving global sustainable goals there is a tremendous need for a developing innovative yet sustainable technology that should reduce carbon emissions and waste as we find our cities are getting over stressed due to their continuous expansion it is essential to design and execute a small solution in the infrastructure to enhance the quality of a life of our citizens there needs to be continuous investment in engineering education and research for developing intelligent traffic management systems 
eco friendly public transport systems and waste management solutions with increasing emphasis on circular economy solutions based management industry is expected to cross 35 billion us dollar by 2028 it will be not surprising that recycling process engineers will be in high demand in the coming times digitalization can play a vital role in this transition towards becoming environment friendly economy in the terms of providing efficient solutions at present india digital economy is a worth of 1 trillion dollar this manifest our capability to drive progress toward a more prosperous and sustainable future after soft landing on a moon even sky is no more limit for our engineers and scientists i hope that our graduates will diligently put in their best effort for a welfare of mankind i am confident that graduate of dr b r ambedkar national institute of technology jalandhar are capable enough to deal with emerging challenges grab opportunities and sensibly contribute to nation and society prior to presenting the director report detail the institute accomplishments and activities over the past year it is customary for me to introduce briefly nit jalandhar to the honorable chief guest and all those in attendance the institute aaj establ was established in the year of 1987 as a regional engineering college and rekristin as a national institute of technology by government of india on 7th 17th october 22 subsequently nit jalandhar was made an autonomous te technical institute through the act of a parliament that is nit act 2007 the ministry of education government of india has declared the institute as institute of national importance it is located in a eco friendly environment amid campus spread over a green landscape of a 154 acre nit jalandhar is dedicated to ensuring high standard in teaching and learning and achieving excellence in a research generating new knowledge establishing robust tie with the industry fostering collaboration with educational institute both in india and abroad and cultivating in a ecosystem conducive to startup the institute is committed to fostering an environment that promotes innovation and creativity through innovative practice student are equipped with a 21st century skill enabling them to find solution real life problems these skills include creativity critical thinking collaboration leadership flexibility initiative and effective communication couples with a focus on entrepreneurial skill we extend our heartfelt gratitude to the visionary who conceptualized the institute welcome successor on a board and collaborator with a dedicated faculty staff and students it is with appreciation that we acknowledge the collective effort of all those who have contributed to the illustrious history and current standing of the institute now i take this opportunity to present before you the director report academics in india is diversified nation with a diversified requirement keeping this in mind the institute offer bachelor of technology programs in a 14 dis discipline of engineering and technology including minor degree program one new program namely btech in a mathematics and computing has been introduced from the academic session start starting from a july 2024 it is also worthwhile to maintain an integrated btech and mba program with iim amritsar has also been started the institute also offer 20 research program leading to degree of a master of technology mtech two new mtech program have been introduced with specialization in the emerging area of engineering and technology from this academic session mtech in mathematics and computing and mtech in machine intelligence 
and automation. We are proud to announce that most of our BTEC and MTEC program are NBA accredited. The total student strength of the institute is present is 5,556. This comprise of a 4,284 student in a BTEC level, 411 student in a MTEC level, 176 student at a MSc level, 46 at a MBA level, 600 student in a PhD level, 39 student at a integrated BSc BA level. Today convocation, 1,504 students are being awarded the degree. The breakup is PhD student is 60, MTech 253, MSc 92, MBA 32, BTech 1,064 and PG diploma in 3. Aligned with the Digital India Initiative, of the Government of India, the Institute Library has proactively acquired textbooks across a various disciplines in electronics format on a perpetual access basis. Accompanied by an unlimited user license, this strategic move is designed to promote the extensive use of information and communication technology ICT and associated infrastructure. Additionally, the Institute has established an e-library with a seating capacity of 400 students simultaneously, providing an advanced and accessible digital resources for the academic community. New education policy and implementation status, the institute has lead role in implementing the national education policy 2020 from the academic year 2023. The revised curriculum of a BTEC and MTEC program has been designed to promote interdisciplinary multidisciplinary, transdisciplinary education and have provision for a choice-based credit system, the implementation status of a NEP 2020 in a academic bank credit, multiple exit and multi-entry and revision of a curriculum syllabi. The curriculum and syllabi has been revised by the institute as per NEP 2020 guideline from the 2023 batch onwards. The starting of a four-year integrated BSc BA program, Institute has also started four-year integrated BSc BA program with 50 seats from the academic year 2023 and 24. In the sciences domain, physics, chemistry, mathematics, as per the mandate of a NEP 2020, guideline for a creating a good workforce for a dedicated teachers. Institute ranking, I am glad to share with you that this year institute has re-entered into the club of a top 50 engineering institute of the country and each rank 46 in a prestigious NIRF ranking, 72nd in a overall top 100 institute or university and 10th amongst the all 31 NITs. In another important ranking by Ministry of Education, NIT Jalandhar has been placed in a rank band of 11 to 50 in the Atal ranking of a institution of innovation achievements, now called as a innovation ranking from 2023. NIT Jalandhar was ranked 45th amongst the All India University or Institution according to the total H index. In another highly prestigious World University ranking, NIT Jalandhar is ranked amongst the world top institution or university in the Times Higher Education ranking 2024 in the ranking band of 1001 to 1200 and rank 801 to 1000 across the globe under the engineering category. NIT Jalandhar was also ranked in the rank of a band of a 351 to a 400 in Asia and Young University ranking category of a Times Higher Education ranking 2023. In the year of a 2024, first time NIT Jalandhar has been placed in the ranking band of a 651 to 700 amongst the Asian University, 204th position amongst the Southern. Asia University and sixth position amongst the all rank NIT in a QS Asia University ranking 2024. 
I express my heartfelt appreciation for the unwavering effort and resilience and determination demonstrated by our esteemed faculty members, dedicated staff, enthusiastic student and supportive alumni that have contributed to this significant accomplishment. With confidence, I believe that this trajectory of a growth will persist and the institute will reach new heights each passing year. Together, we are poached for a continued success and excellence. Research and development outreach activities, it is my pleasure to inform you that members of a faculty of an institute during the year of a 2023 have been published 1,133 research articles in prestigious referred international journals. Total account of an international publication is 6,530 till date. The institute is continuously evolving and nurturing innovative thinking and in response to this new IPR policy and rule has been introduced. 34 patents were filed in the period of 2023 and 24. Eight IPR have been granted during this year. It is a worth mentioning that institute has put in a place of a new policy for overhead consultancy and self-sponsored program such as conference, FDP, ST, TP. Beside this seed fund amounting of a two rupees five lakh each for a new faculty members has been implemented. At a present 21 sponsored project and joint project with the other institute amounting to a 18 crore in the progress. It is a worth mentioning that a NIT Jalandhar has successfully delivering consultancy project of a more than rupees three crore during the last year. Further, Ministry of Education has approved the recommendation of a program advisory council to shortlist the 20 higher education institute for the capacity building program on design and entrepreneurship. I am pleased to inform you that NIT Jalandhar is a bun of these institutions. Faculty and staff development and activities, the institute boasts a team of a highly qualified, acknowledgeable, committed faculty members with a exercise, expertise across diverse disciplines such as engineering and technology, science and management. The faculty serve as a perpetual source of inspiration for the students, supported by highly competent staff, the institute conductive an extensive recruitment process in the last year, the leading to a appointment or promotion of the total of 188 faculty members. This strategic expansion reinforced the institute's dedication to maintaining a strong academic team for the benefit of its students. The present total faculty strength is 225. At the same time, institute undertook the work of appointment of a teaching and non-teaching staff and appointed 87 staff members in the year of 2023. The present total staff strength is 231. Faculty award and honors. The faculty members of the institute has won a many laureates in a national and international level, some of a notable achievement since the last convocation held in October 2023. Our professor, Santilal Oswal Young Scientist Award by the Indian Thermo, Thermodynamic Society, Life Fellow of a Indian Institute of Chemical Engineers, delivering theme lecture and keynote lecture in the reputed international conferences, <coughs> and multi-institutional project grants. Further proposal has been accepted, accepted for a crystallography experiment in a research laboratory, Petra third in a Hamburg, Germany. I extend my heartfelt appreciation to these faculty members and congratulate them on their exemplary performance. Their dedication and contribution significantly contribute to the success and reputation of the institute. The student placement during the 2020 22 and 23, more than 60 reputed industry house, industrial houses visited the institute for recruitment, notably amongst these are Adobe, Microsoft, Oracle, Amazon, Maruti Suzuki, India Limited, Ericsson, JP Morgan's Work Applications, ABB Limited, and Intel Technology, India Limited. 
सीमंस सैमसंग असुका लीलैंड हीरो होंडा मोटर्स एंड होंडा कार्ड इंडिया लिमिटेड लेसन एंड टिब्रो एन इंडियन नेवी फिलिप्स टू नेम फ्यू आई हैव प्लेजर इन ए इन्फॉर्म यू यू दैट इन ए एकेडमिक ईयर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड ट्वेंटी फोर आर ऑफ ए नाइन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी एलिजिबल स्टूडेंट ऑफ ए इंस्टीट्यूट सेवन हंड्रेड सिक्सटी सिक्स स्टूडेंट हैव बीन रिसीव जॉब ऑफर्स विद द हाइस्ट पैकेज ऑफ ए रुपीज फिफ्टी वन लाख पर एन एम वाइल वन थर्टी एट स्टूडेंट्स हैव बीन रिसीव डबल जॉब ऑफर्स फर्दर इन ए करेंट एकेडमिक ईयर ट्वेंटी थर्टीन मार्च ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर आउट ऑफ सेवन एट्टी सेवन एलिजिबल स्टूडेंट फाइव हंड्रेड नाइन्टी नाइन स्टूडेंट हैव बीन प्लेस वाइल एट्टी एट स्टूडेंट्स हैव बीन रिसीव डबल जॉब ऑफर विद ए हाइएस्ट पैकेज ऑफ रुपीज फिफ्टी थ्री लाख पर एन एम वेरियस रेपेड कंपनी आर विजिटिंग द इंस्टीट्यूट कंटिन्यूसली फॉर ए प्लेसमेंट स्टूडेंट्स एंड एक्टिविटीज एंड अचीवमेंट द स्टूडेंट ऑफ आई इंस्टीट्यूट हैव बीन एडिड ए मैनी फीदर्स ऑफ देयर कैप्स सम ऑफ ए नोटेबल अचीवमेंट आर ए फर्स्ट पोजिशन इन ए लिटरी लिटरेरी एंड डिबेटिंग क्लब विद ए कैश प्राइज ऑफ ए रुपीज वन लाख इन द डॉक्टर डी आर सिंह मेमोरियल ब्रिटिश पार्लियामेंट नेशन डिबेट कंपटिशन एंड फाइनलिस्ट इन ए नेशनल लेवल चैंपियन सेलेक्शन टू मेक ऑफ ए शॉर्ट फिल्म बाई द बांग्लादेश गवर्नमेंट हेल्ड एट ए ढाका बांग्लादेश फोर्थ पोजिशन इन ए इंटर टेक्निकल इंस्टीट्यूट फुटबॉल टूर्नामेंट गर्ल्स स्टूडेंट हैज सेक्योर ए फर्स्ट रनर अप पोजिशन इन ए ऑल इंडिया इंस्टीट्यूट एन आई टी वुमेन क्रिकेट टूर्नामेंट हेल्ड एट ए एन आई टी राउर किला एक्सेट्रा पी एच टी स्कॉलर पी एच टी रिसर्च स्कॉलर पार्टिसिपेट इन द टेक स्टार्टअप कनेक्शन एम्पलीफायर ग्रो प्रोग्राम अंडर द स्टार्टअप एंड हैंड होल्ड एम्पावरमेंट इनिशिएटिव टू प्रमोट ए वोमेन इंटरप्रेसरशिप इन ए पंजाब पार्टिसिपेशन ऑफ ए स्टूडेंट इन कंडक्टिंग क्लीनलीनेस ड्राइव सेमडन एक्सेट्रा आल्सो इंस्टीट्यूट इनोवेशन काउंसिल एंड युक्ति 2.0 पॉइंट जीरो ऑर्गेनाइज ए थ्री डे एग्जीबिशन एंड मेंटरशिप प्रोग्राम ऑफ ए इंटर इंस्टीट्यूशनल आइडिया कंपटीशन 23 आर स्टूडेंट हैज परफॉर्म एक्सीलेंटली वेल इन ए नेशनल लेवल कंपटीशन एग्जामिनेशन सच एज गेट ट्वेंटी मैनी स्टूडेंट हैज सेक्योर ए गेट ऑल इंडिया रैंक अंडर हंड्रेड इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर डेवलपमेंट रिसेंटली मेगा हॉस्टल ऑफ ए गर्ल्स फेज टू जी प्लस इलेवन बिल्डिंग विद ए कैपेसिटी ऑफ ए एट हंड्रेड फोर्टी स्टूडेंट एट ए कॉस्ट ऑफ ए रुपीज सेवेंटी सेवन क्रोड एंड नॉलेज सेंटर विद ए सिटिंग कैपेसिटी ऑफ ए फोर हंड्रेड स्टूडेंट एट ए कॉस्ट ऑफ ए रुपीज सेवन पॉइंट फोर सिक्स क्रोड हैज बीन कंप्लीटेड टू एनहेंस द स्टूडेंट एकोमोडेशन द कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ ए मेगा Hostel for a boys G plus 11 building of at a cost of a 61 crore, and new lecture theatre block comprising of a 27 lecture theatre at a each capacity of a 120 at a global cost of a rupees 37 crore are in progress. Further, the constru construction of a mega block for a mega boys hostel phase two at a cost of a rupees 11.96 crore is to be started very soon. In addition to this, renovation, repair, and upgradation and beautification work amounting of a rupees thirty one crore has been entrusted to CPWD and work are to start it soon. At open stage ground near mega hostel for a boys at a cost of a rupees four point zero nine crore has also been constructed. In addition to this, financial assistance from a higher education financing agency has been approved rupees. 240 crore recently from a electrical engineering block computer science extension block mega hostel for a boys phase third type 4 residence 54 number these work are likely to taken up due course of a time further sports and health care center technology business incubation center skill development center isro funded space technology incubation center are also functioning in the institute sports event and achievement the institute is actively promoting fitness and health by creating a awareness and encouraging the active participation of faculty student and staff in a sport activities the department of sports and recently organized annual athletic fest on 20 24 february 2024 in the 
Inter Technology University Volleyball Tournament at a NIT Kurchetra, our boys team emerged vict victorious and clinching the gold medal and a student of a NIT Jalandar won the bronze medal in the Inter Technology University Badminton Tournament held at a PAC Chandigarh. Moreover, our girls students have been display remarkable talent and tenacity in a cricket and table tennis in the All India Inter NIT Cricket Tournament held at a NIT Raurkela, our girls cricket team secured the gold medal while in the All India Inter NIT Table Tennis Tournament at a NIT Jamshedpur, our team clinches the gold medal. Furthermore, our athletics have showcased their provinces in a track and field event also. In the All India Inter NIT Athletic Tournament held at NIT Warangal, our students exhibit remarkable performance securing one gold, gold and one silver medal along with the enthusiastic participation across the various events. Mm -hmm. On the other side, our Bhangra team secured the first prize in a pack Chandigarh and claim a second position held at a IIT Roper in a Genes 24. Similarly, our Quest Club has been brave in a various competition and achieving a sec second position in a Warp 23 at a PAC Chandigarh and securing a second position in the IIT Indore. Cryptic Hunt 2023. Additionally, they clinched the first position at a IIT pa Palakkar Cryptic Hunt 2023, showcasing their intellectual pro prowess. Our movie club showcased in a talent and creativity by achieving first position in a Satrunalia held at a Thapar Institute of Engineering and Technology, Patiala. The dramatic club also left a lasting impression, securing the second position in the, in the Mono Act competition at a Conference 24 at a NIT Kurchitra. Secures third place in a State play in a Insomnia 24 in a ICR Mohali. Furthermore, our institute hosts two flagship events, Technity and Utkans, which have a garnered Im immense popularly, popularity. These te technoculture and cultural events are organized annually and serving as a platform for our students to showcase their talent and exchange ideas and foster creativity. Hindi cell, it is wonderful to hear about the active Hindi cell at a institute engaging students in a various event and competitions as well as celebrating Hindi, Hindi week. This not only promote culture diversity but also enhance the overall education experience. The confidence of the graduating student reflect the commitment of the institute in providing them with the necessary knowledge and skill to face real type, real life challenges. It's inspiring to know that these students are well prepared to seize opportunity and contribute their enthusiasm, not only in a pride of a NIT Jalandhar, but also in a progress or great country India. The emphasis on their potential to make mark excellence globally in a commendable it showcased the institute dedicated to fostering not just academic excellence, but also instilling a sense of a responsibility and pride in a students. I take this opportunity to con congratulate the degree recipients and wish them to bright future. It reinforced the idea that their achievements are not only recognized, but also celebrated. I am thankful to Honorable Chief Guest Dr. Samir V. Kamadji for sparing his time and encouraging the young graduating students, faculty and staff of the, this institute. I extend my sincere thanks to all those who honor us with their esteemed presence, taking the time to grace this special, special occasion. Your participation added immense value to the event and we are truly grateful for your presence. I would like to express my heartfelt appreciation to all stakeholders for their unwavering support. The success of this event 
is the result of a collective efforts and collaboration of a various individuals and groups. A special note of thanks goes to Ministry of Education, Government of India for their generous funding. Their support have been instrumental in making this event possible and contributing to the overall success of our institute. I extend my gratitude to the media persons who covered the convocation ceremony. Your role is capturing and sharing the sig significant movements of this event with a wider audience is truly appreciated. Last but not least, I would like to thank the dedicated faculty and staff students of this institute. Your hard work and commitment have been play a vital role in the planning and execution of this ceremony. And I am truly grateful for your, your contributions. Once again, thank to everyone who play a part in a making this occasion memorable. Your support is generally appreciated. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat. Thank you, sir. Sir, the Senate of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, National Institute of Technology, is pleased to welcome Dr. Smir Viji Kamath, Secretary, Department of Defense, R&D, and Chairman DRDO, who has impacted and contributed to scientific fraternity in considerable ways through his exceptional contribution in the field of science and technology. Dr. Samir V. Kamath, assumed charge as Secretary, Department of Defense, R&D, and Chairman DRDO on 26th August 2022. Dr. Kamath completed B.Tech Honors in Metallurgical Engineering from IIT Kharagpur in 1985 and PhD in Materials Science and Engineering from the Ohio State University, USA in 1988 and joined DRDO in the subsequent year of 1989. Dr. Kamath has provided leadership and direction to several critical materials programs in DRDO, such as the development of high-strength steels for naval ship hulls, development of high-temperature titanium alloys, and nickel-based, super-alloy-based components for aero engines, development of tungsten heavy alloys for kinetic energy penetrators, development of fused silica radomes for missile seekers, development of armor solutions for personnel as well as combat vehicles, and steel materials for airborne and naval applications. These have found use in various systems being developed by DRDO laboratories. In addition, he has spearheaded the development of naval systems such as advanced lightweight torpedo, anti-torpedo decoy systems, autonomous underwater vehicles, advanced hull-mounted and towed array sonars for ships, and fuel cells-based air-independent propulsion systems for submarines. Dr. Kamath is a fellow of the Indian National Academy of Engineers and Institution of Engineers India. He is a recipient of Distinguished Alumni Award from IIT Kharagpur Metallurgist of the Year Award by the Ministry of Steel and Scientist of the Year Award from DRDO. He has published more than 200 papers in international peer-reviewed journals. Sir, I request and invite Honorable Dr. Samir Viji Kamath to kindly deliver his convocation address. Sir, please. Respected Chairman, Board of Governors, Come Director, Professor Kanojia, members of the Board of Governors, deans, Senate members, faculty members, dignitaries in the audience, members of the press and media, and finally, the graduating students, their families, ladies and gentlemen. At the outset, let me wish all of you a very good morning. It's indeed an honor and a privilege to address all of you on this momentous occasion of the 19th Convocation 
of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar National Institute of Technology, Jalandhar. I am indeed very thankful to the director, Professor Kanojia, for inviting me and giving me this unique opportunity to address all of you. Dear young graduates, at the outset, let me congratulate you on your graduation. Today marks an important day in your lives and a significant milestone in your career journey. As you look back at your stay in the Institute, you will remember the moments you rejoiced in, the numerous challenges you encountered and subsequently overcome, and how each of these experiences have made you more resilient. It is indeed a moment of great pride for you, as much as it is for your teachers, parents, and those who played a part in shaping your life so far. You have worked incredibly hard to get to this point, and you richly deserve all the accolades. You are among the fortunate few who have had the privilege of graduating from an eminent technological institute in the country. This institute has been true to the vision of Bharat Ratna Dr. B. R. Ambedkar by maintaining the subtle balance between the individual and the society. The knowledge and the skills that you have acquired at NIT Jalandhar will stand you in good stead throughout your career. However, your education does not conclude today. It merely enters a new phase. Let me quote Albert Einstein, let not your education interfere with your lifelong learning. Learning is a lifelong process and you have to embrace it. Only then will you do well in your career. I am certain that some of you already know what you want to do next and have your life all planned out. But likely there are many others who are sitting on the horns of a dilemma, not knowing what next, standing at the threshold of a new life full of unknown and unforeseen challenges. It was about 39 years back when I was in your shoes after completing my BTEC at IIT Kharagpur. To be honest, at that point, I had no idea what I wanted to achieve or do next. The world in the mid-80s was also quite different than what it is today. The opportunities then were quite limited, as India was in the early part of its development stage. Graduates then only had few choices and I made the choice of go, going abroad to do my PhD. I can set, say today that I, was, I am glad that I took that decision. It is during my PhD at Ohio State University, USA, I realized that R&D is what, it, what I wanted to pursue in my career. It was quite fortuitous that I joined Defense Research and Development Organization after completing my PhD. It just so happened that director of one of the laboratories of DRDO was visiting the university for a conference. I happened to meet him and my interactions with him made me sure that this is what I wanted to do and this is the organization I would like to work in. In hindsight, I can say that was the right decision. I have thoroughly enjoyed my journey in DRDO. DRDO has given me the opportunities to pursue applied research, to develop technologies and products which find use in systems for our military and also to lead R&D programs and institutions. 
It has taught me that if you want to succeed, you have to be flexible and adaptive. You have to collaborate. You have to be willing to take calculated risks. Constantly learn and update your skills. And last but not least, to persevere and work hard. These are some lessons which will help you as well. Of course, there is no magic formula for success. There comes a point when each of you has to choose your own way. However, if you pursue something which you have a passion for and enjoy doing, it is highly likely that you will excel. Let me now share a few words about DRDO. DRDO is an R&D wing of the Defence, Ministry of Defence, Government of India. It was formed in 1958 and over the years it has grown multifold in terms of the variety of subject disciplines, number of laboratories, achievement and stature. DRDO's vision is to empower India with cutting-edge defence technologies and our mission is to achieve self-reliance in critical defense technologies and systems while equipping our armed forces with state-of-the-art weapon systems and equipment. Our past successes include indigenous development of the strategic systems and platforms such as the Agni and Prithvi series of missiles, the light combat aircraft Tejas, the main battle tank Arjun, the multi-barrel rocket launcher Pinaka, the air defense missile Akash, wide range of radars and electronic warfare systems, underwater sensors such as sonars and underwater weapons such as torpedoes and mines, to name a few. Our recent successes include the recently done Divyastra mission, as well as mission Shakti, which demonstrated the anti-satellite capability. We have also undertaken a mission called Mission Smart, where we can deliver a torpedo through a missile to attack a submarine which is more than 200 kilometers from this point of attack. These systems have given a significant jump to India's military might, generating effective deterrence and providing crucial leverage. There are also several new programs such as the fifth generation aircraft, advanced medium combat aircraft AMCA, the hypersonic missiles, the air independent propulsion systems for our P-75 submarines, the high endurance autonomous underwater vehicles, over the horizon radars, next generation main battle tanks, to name a few, which will come to fruition in the coming years. Developing each of these complex systems and technologies involves a multi-year journey by teams of cross-domain scientists working together across labs and organization and each is, in a each is a story in itself. I would like to narrate, narrate three stories to you to highlight the kind of journey which one has to undertake if you have to successfully deliver a product or a system. Let me start with the IGMDP program, which our Honorable Ex-President Dr. APJ Abdul, Abdul Kalam started when he was director of one of our laboratories. In 1983, India did not have any infrastructure or the expertise to develop missiles. However, Dr. Kalam had the gumption to start a program called IGMDP where he took up the challenge to develop five missiles simultaneously. You can imagine the boldness which it required to even propose to the government that without any capabilities, we would be able to deliver 
five missile systems within a span of 10 years. He set up an entire ecosystem within DRDO involving various laboratories, academia, more than 50 educational institutions were involved in the development of this IGMDP program. He involved more than 1,000 MSMEs. There were no startups then. He involved 5, 10 large industries within the country. And it was with the help of such a large network that these five missiles were delivered to the country. And today, I can proudly say that we can develop any type of missile and our missiles are one of the most reliable, most cost effective and one of the best missiles anywhere in the world. So if you have the courage and the conviction and work towards developing an ecosystem, not work in isolation, it is possible to achieve even the impossible. The second example I want to narrate is in the 90 or late 90s or early 2000, India wanted to develop its first aircraft carrier for our Navy. But at that point, the steel which is required to make an aircraft carrier the aircraft carrier which India has needed about 50,000 tons of steel. This steel was not being made in the country and it was being denied to us by all other countries. There was an import ban on such a steel. So if the country needed to make the aircraft carrier, the first thing it needed to do was to make the steel within the country. The kind of infrastructure which was necessary for making this steel was not available in our steel plants. This challenge was thrown open to DRDO. Can you develop this steel in the next three to four years, which would then allow us to start construction of our aircraft carrier? This challenge was taken up by DRDO and within a span of four to five years, working closely with our steel plants, we not only produced this steel, but produced this steel at a cost which was one-fifth the cost of the steel available globally. And I'm proud to say today, not only in the aircraft carrier, but in all the ships being made by our Navy, this steel is being used. So this again shows that if there is a need and if we all put our heads and efforts together, it is possible for us to achieve not only the objective but achieve that objective at a cost which is significantly lower. Today I can say that there is export of this steel happening to other countries. A third example I want to give is for the air independent propulsion system that we have been developing for our submarines. This allows the submarine, conventional submarines to remain underwater for much longer than what they would if they just use the diesel and the batteries which they currently use. So we have one small laboratory NMRL in Ambarnath near Mumbai is a small laboratory consisting of about 50 to 60 scientists. They had taken up a science and technology project to develop fuel cells in the late 90s, early 2000s. Now, to, when, when this situation came up that can we develop 
uh, air independent propulsion system for our submarine. It was this small laboratory had the courage to say that I have a fuel cell technology and I can convert this fuel cell technology to an air independent propulsion system. So from a small fuel cell, they have now developed a full air independent propulsion system which is working on a land which is known as a land based prototype. It took about 10 years journey which went through lots of ups and downs. But today this land based prototype is working successfully. It has not only demonstrated the endurance, it has also de demonstrated that it can deliver the maximum power that is required for the submarine. And I'm proud to say that today, the Indian Navy has taken a decision that in its existing P-75 submarine, this air independent propulsion system will be introduced. And the first submarine when it comes for EFIT will be cut open, this air independent propulsion system will be introduced. And so because of this small R&D work which was done in a laboratory a few years back, we now will have a submarine force which will have the ability to stay underwater at least five to six times more than what it had earlier. So the point I want to make to all of you here today is you have to have conviction in what you do. You have to have passion. You have to have the ability to take risks. If you do that, you will succeed. So I, to sum up, I would like to say that at DRDO we believe balasya moolam vigyanam. The source of strength is science. DRDO has the firm determination to make the nation strong and self-reliant in terms of science and technology, especially in the field of military technologies. Recently, DRDO has started five young scientist laboratories where everyone, including the director, is below the age of 35. These laboratories have been tasked to address emerging technologies such as cyber physical systems, quantum technologies, smart materials, asymmetric technologies, and artificial intelligence. We want these laboratories to become the equivalent of startups within the DRDO system. We have also opened 15 DRDO industry academia centers of excellence in 15 leading academic institutions in the country. We would like these DIA COEs to become hubs for innovation and development of cutting edge technologies. We hope that in the years to come, these institutions will act like Stanford and MIT in the United States, which help build a vibrant eco industrial ecosystem around those cities. With our Honorable Prime Minister's vision of Atmanirbhar Bharat and becoming a technology leader and a leading, leading defense exporter in the next 25 years, or Amrit Kal, the future is bright for DRDO. And I would like some of you to consider it in your options. We as a nation have made unmatched and enviable strides towards the future. One thing that has played a vital role in our dramatic and inspirational rise is science and technology. Our Honorable Prime Minister has even coined the phrase, Jai Jawan, Jai Kisan, Jai Vigyan, and Jai Anusandhan in 2019 to recognize the efforts of our scientists and researchers. We have made significant scientific advancements which have brought laurels to our nation. Some of our recent scientific achievements, including the development of the Covaxin, the Mission Shakti, as I mentioned, the Chandrayaan-3 mission, the Aditya L1 mission. 
Apart from these, we have also made significant progress in creating a robust startup and innovation ecosystem through the technology business incubators and the science and technology entrepreneur parks. However, as your director also mentioned, the rate of change of technology is accelerating dramatically in recent years. Several new disruptive technologies such as AI, ML, quantum technologies, IoT, advanced materials, space-based technologies have emerged, which are going to influence not only our defense, but most civilian domains. Climate change also has brought the need to develop sustainable and eco-friendly technologies. Thus, you are embarking on your professional journey in one of the most exciting times. I'm sure that each one of you has different dreams. Here, I would like to quote four lines from our former Honorable President, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, and I quote, when you wish upon a star, makes no difference who you are. Anything your heart desires will come to you, unquote. If you are prepared to think big and act in time with conviction and take appropriate risks, you will be rewarded. My dear young friends, you are the future of the nation and your generation will lead in transitioning India from a developing to a developed nation. May God grant you wisdom, success, and true sense of fulfillment of your cherished goals. Thank you and congratulations once again. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat. Let the candidate of our award of our chairman medals and other medals be pre presented. Thank you, sir. Sir, I present Gagan Walia from Department of Information Technology, the overall topper who has been declared winner of the chairman's medal for the year 2023 for securing the overall highest CGPA in Bachelor of Technology program in the batch 2019-2023. Gagan Walia. <laughs> sir. Sir, I present the following candidates who have been declared winners of the Institute medals for the year 2023 for securing top positions in their respective disciplines, uh, BTech in biotechnology, uh, Sanjeev Sen with 8.5 CGPA. Aritro Sanjeev Sen, please. So, Institute gold medal for the discipline Chemical engineering goes to Nishant Visist with the CGPA 9.11. Nishant Visist. <laughs> Institute gold medal for the discipline civil engineering goes to Akshita Bassi with the CGPA 9.2. Akshita Basi. Institute gold medal for B.Tech in Computer Science and Engineering goes to Tanav Agarwal with CGP of 8.89. Tanav Agarwal. Institute gold medal for B.Tech in Electrical Engineering goes to Abhishek Pandey with CGP of 9.4. 
अगेन इंस्टीट्यूट गोल्ड मेडल फॉर बीटेक इन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग गोज टू श्रीनव क्रंडेल वाल विद सी जी पी ए नाइन पॉइंट जीरो वन इंस्टीट्यूट गोल्ड मेडल फॉर बीटेक इन इंडस्ट्रियल एंड प्रोडक्शन इंजीनियरिंग गोज टू वैशाली अग्रवाल विद सी जी पी ए नाइन पॉइंट जीरो फोर Institute Gold Medal for B.Tech in Information Technology goes to Gaganwalia again 9.41 CGPA. Institute Gold Medal for B.Tech in Instrumentation and Control Engineering goes to Rahul with CGPA 9.07. Institute Gold Medal for B.Tech in Mechanical Engineering goes to joint uh, toppers Amikul Basur and Aditya Prakash Padi with CGPA 8.83. Amikul Basur. Institute Gold Medal for Textile Technology goes to Sumit Chetal with CGPA 8.69. Institute Gold Medal for M.Tech in Artificial Intelligence goes to Priya Mishra with CGPA 9.00. Priya Mishra. Institute Gold Medal for M.Tech program in Biotechnology goes to Sonu SS with CGPA 9.09. Again, Institute Gold Medal for M.Tech in Chemical Engineering goes to Panchanan Pranpermanik with 8.8 CGPA. Panchanan Pranamik. Institute Gold Medal for M.Tech in Computer Science and Engineering goes to Akshay Nair with CGPA 8.95. Institute Gold Medal for M.Tech program in Computer Science and Engineering Information Security goes to Ankit Grover with 8.77 CGPA. Institute Gold Medal for M.Tech program in Control and Instrumentation Engineering goes to Gurparas Singh with 8.75 CGPA. Institute Gold Medal for M.Tech in Design Engineering goes to Aditya Sharma with CGPA 8.28. Institute Gold M.Tech Gold Medal in Electronics and Communication Engineering goes to Rose D. Painadhan with 8.72 CGPA. Institute Gold Medal for M.Tech in Geotechnical and Geoenvironmental Engineering goes to Ankit Kumar Kumawat with 8.92 CGPA. Ankit Kumar Kumawat. Institute Gold Medal for M.Tech in Structural and Construction Engineering goes to Gajendra Lega with CGPA 9.08. Institute Gold Medal in M.Tech in Textile Engineering and Management goes to Tanya S. Harley with 8.49 CGPA. Tanya S. Harley. Institute Gold Medal for M.Tech in Thermal Engineering goes to Arjun Sikka with 9.03 CGPA. Arjun Sikka. Please. 
Institute gold medal for M.Tech in VLSI design goes to Aditi Pankaj with 9.02 CGPA. Institute gold medal for MSc in chemistry goes to Pragati Sharma with 8.92 CGPA. Institute gold medal for MSc in mathematics goes to Ishika Sagwal with 9.15 CGPA. Institute gold medal for MBA program goes to joint uh, toppers Shweta Kapoor and Gariba with 8.58 CGPA. Shweta Kapoor first. And Gariba. Sir, I present to you the candidates who having completed the requirements of the award of degree of Doctor of Philosophy in respective disciplines are... Okay. Just... Just... Let the candidate of the award of a degree of Doctor of Philosophy be presented. Sir, I present to you the candidates who having completed requirements for award of degree of Doctor of Philosophy in their respective disciplines are considered worthy of receiving the same. I recommend that they be admitted to the said degree. Amit Kumar, Chemical Engineering. Pooja Sharma, Chemistry. Pratibha Chemistry Ramanjit Kaur Chemistry Atul Kapoor Chemistry Atul Kapoor Chemistry Vandana Agarwal, Chemistry. Baban Preet Singh, Civil Engineering. Kuldeep Sharma, Civil Engineering. Bhupati Kannur, Civil Engineering. Rachit Sharma, Civil Engineering. Sanjeev Kumar, Civil Engineering. Karandeep Kaur, Computer Science and Engineering. Shilpa Mahajan, Computer Science and Engineering. Vikas Tyagi, Computer Science and Engineering. Yadna Pudi Kavya Sai, Electronics and Communication Engineering. Tulika Chawla, Electronics and Communication Engineering. Talvinder Kaur, Humanities and Management.
Ramesh Chand, Industrial and Production Engineering. Ranjit Singh, Industrial and Production Engineering. Nand Gopal, Industrial and Production Engineering. Ananya Chakravarti, Information Technology. Vishal Vishnoi, Instrumentation and Control Engineering. Sunil Kumar, Instrumentation and Control Engineering. Himanshu Gupta, Instrumentation and Control Engineering. Bharati Mathematics Varinder Singh Mechanical Engineering Sukhdeep Singh Mechanical Engineering Krishan Kumar Mechanical Engineering Mohammad Arif, Mechanical Engineering, Mohammad Arif, Rahul Samyal, Mechanical Engineering, Varun Kumar Gupta, Mechanical Engineering, Shalendra Kumar Chorasya, Mechanical Engineering. <coughs> Neetu Kanda, Physics. Manpreet Kaur, Physics. Sansar Chand, Physics. Ankush, Physics. Bhavna Chobisa, Textile Technology. Ankush Sharma, Textile Technology. Amal Ray, Textile Technology. Priya Jaswal, Textile Technology. Sir, some of the candidates who have successfully completed all the academic requirements for award of the Doctor of Philosophy degree are not present here today. I recommend that each one of them be admitted to the said degree in absentia. I hereby confer the degree of the Doctor of Philosophy in the respective of a discipline to the candidate who have not been able to be present on convocation. Next Let the candidate for the award of the degree of a degree of master of a technology be presented. Sir, head center for artificial and intelligence. Sir, 
I present to you the candidates who having completed requirements for award of degree of Master of Technology in Artificial Intelligence are considered worthy of receiving the same. I recommend the, that they may be admitted to the said degree. Alina Nal. Jagriti Dhaka. Keshav Gaur. Nikhil Lamba. Priya Mishra. Priyanka Kumari Priyasha Eri Ritika Mahajan Shorya Rajput Sorryful Momin Suryansh Saini Shushant Kumar Vebhavi Rangari Vishrut Thakur Thank you Department of Biotechnology Sir, I present you the candidates who having completed requirements for award of degree of Master of Technology in Biotechnology are considered worthy of receiving the same. I recommend that they be admitted to the said degree. Aditi Sarkar, Himansi Dewan. Kanchan Chauhan Rohan Mahindru Saheli Sabnam Saksam Handa Simranjit Singh Man Sonu SS Nisa Kumari Pandit Thank you Department of Chemical Engineering, please. Sir, I present to you the candidates who, having completed requirements for award of degree of Master of Technology in Chemical Engineering, are considered worthy of receiving the same. I recommend that they be admitted to the said degree. Ayushi Mishra.
पंचानन प्रमाणिक पूनम कामलेकर जरीना लहल प्रिंस भाटिया थैंक यू डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग sir i present to you the candidates who having completed requirements for the award of degree of master of technology in civil engineering are considered worthy of receiving the same i recommend that they be admitted to the said degree geotechnical and geo environmental engineering akhil bamutra ankit kumar kumavat आंशिका कौंदवाल अर्पित भारद्वाज हर राजदीप सिंह जावेद आलम मायत्री संकल्प नवीन कुमार भनवोत देवश्री बत्स कश्यप वारिकु श्रीजा वैराग्य नितिन शर्मा स्ट्रक्चर एंड कंस्ट्रक्शन इंजीनियरिंग अब है दशमाना अभिषेक कुमार अखिल अंजलि जी कृष्णा अरुण कुमार अतुल आयुष जैन गादिला राकेश रेड्डी गजेंद्र लेगा मोहम्मद जुलकार नैन पारुल सिंह प्रशांत मिश्रा रश्मि थाम्पी ऋतुजा मिलिंद जीवाने सचिन राजपूत सुरभि सक्सेना
तरुण भार्गव मेकला दानिश राजा कार्तिके एस सेन परब मेहर सुनील प्रफुल प्रसाद सौरभ प्रजापति शुभम दत्ता डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग sir i present to you the candidates who having completed requirements for award of master of technology in computer science and engineering are considered worthy of receiving the same i recommend that they be admitted to the said degree abhishek kumar akshay nayar अरजीत चौहान दीपेंदर सिंह कृष्णा कांत लक्ष्य कुमार सैनी नितिन शर्मा रजनीश यादव रोहित कुमार समर्थ गुप्ता संदीप कुमार शिवम चौहान सूरज कुमार तुषार राठौर Anju Neha Om Prakash Shefali Bajaj सर स्वागता मंडल सर नाउ आई प्रेजेंट टू द कैंडिडेट्स हु हैविंग कंप्लीटेड रिक्वायरमेंट्स फॉर मास्टर ऑफ for award of master of technology in computer science and engineering information security are considered worthy of receiving the same i recommend that they be admitted to the said degree tushar semwal aditya thakur ayushman pande नमन सैनी
रचना सुश्री मिश्रा अंकित ग्रोवर अंकिता पॉल कृतिका थैंक यू डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग sir i present to you the candidates who having completed the requirements for the award of master of technology in electronics and communication engineering are considered worthy of receiving the same i recommend that they be admitted to the said degree rahul rose d payanadat Shitis Goel Vishal Saha Sir now I present to you the candidates who having completed requirements for the award of Master of Technology in VRSI design are considered worthy of receiving the same i recommend that they be admitted to the said degree aditi pankaj aditi sharma himanshu kumar ज्योति उपाध्याय सचिन कुमार संतोष गंगधर सरोदे सूरज सिंह विशाल कुमार प्रसकंदन मुखर्जी सूर्यांश रहेजा मानसी सैनी thank you sir department of industrial and production engineering sir i present to you the candidates who have been completed their requirements of master of engineer uh, technology in uh, industrial engineering are considered worthy of receiving the same i recommend that they be admitted to the said degree swatam som यश फाटक पाठक मैन्युफैक्चरिंग टेक्नोलॉजी अभय कुमार राघव शर्मा संजीव कुमार महातो डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन एंड कंट्रोल इंजीनियरिंग
सर आई प्रेजेंट टू यू कैंडिडेट्स हुए कम्पलीटेड रिक्वायरमेंट्स फॉर अवार्ड ऑफ मास्टर ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी कंट्रोल एंड इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन इंजीनियरिंग कंसिडर वर्ती और रिसीविंग द सेम आई रिकमेंड दैट दे मे बी एडमिटेड टू दी सैड डिग्री गुरपारस सिंह सौरव वर्मा थैंक यू डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग सर आई प्रेजेंट टू यू द कैंडिडेट्स हु हैव कंप्लीटेड रिक्वायरमेंट्स फॉर द अवार्ड ऑफ मास्टर ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी इन डिजाइन इंजीनियरिंग आर कंसीडर्ड वर्दी ऑफ रिसीविंग द सेम आई रिकमेंड दैट दे बी एडमिटेड टू द सेट डिग्री आयुष माथुर आदित्य शर्मा अमन गुप्ता अमिंद्र खिल्ला चंदन कुमार चित्रांग खुलबे निखिल शर्मा पूजा शाक्या संजीव कुमार वासरे प्रतीक पंडित सर आई प्रेजेंट टू यू द कैंडिडेट्स हु हैविंग कंप्लीटेड रिक्वायरमेंट्स ऑफ अवार्ड ऑफ डिग्री ऑफ मास्टर ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी इन थर्मल इंजीनियरिंग आर कंसीडर्ड वर्दी ऑफ रिसीविंग द सेम आई रिकमेंड दैट दे बी एडमिटेड टू द सेट डिग्री रवि रंजन शिवम तिवारी वैभव समदानी अर्जुन सिक्का रोशन कुमार थैंक यू वेरी मच डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ टेक्सटाइल टेक्नोलॉजी सर आई प्रेजेंट टू यू द कैंडिडेट्स हु हैविंग कंप्लीटेड रिक्वायरमेंट्स for award of master of technology in textile engineering and management are considered worthy of receiving the same i recommend that they be admitted to the said degree hansraj gujre jagriti thakur jameer aslam प्रिया कुमारी सिद्धांत शुक्ला सूरज सिंह तानिया एस हरले अखिलेश प्रकाश थैंक यू सेंटर फॉर रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी सर i present to you the candidates who having completed requirements for award of degree of master of technology in renewable energy are considered worthy of receiving the same 
I recommend that they be admitted to the said degree. Ashutosh Mishra, Ganana Selvam, Nikitha Chinthala. Thank you, sir. <coughs> sir, some of the candidates who have successfully completed all the academic requirements for the award of MTech degree are not present here today. I recommend that each of them be admitted to the said degree in absentia. Yeah, no? I hereby confer the degree of Master of Technology in the respective discipline to the candidate who have not been able to be present on the convocation. <coughs> Let the candidates for the award of the degree of Master of Science be presented. Department of Chemistry. Yes. Sir. I present to you the candidates who having completed requirements for award of degree of Master in Science in Chemistry are considered worthy of receiving the same. I recommend that they be admitted to the said degree. Anjali Gupta. Anshuman. Bhuvnesh Kumar Sharma, Devyanshi, Jigyasa, Kopalgarh, Lokendra Patel, Mrinal, Parul, Pragati Sharma, Ram Kumar Sharma, Reshav Minhas, Sachin Dubey, Shreshi Pandey, Vishaka Kasudhan. Thank you. Department of Mathematics. Sir, I present to you the candidates who having completed requirements for award of degree of Master of Science in Mathematics are considered worthy of receiving the same. I recommend that they be admitted to the said degree. Akanksha Singla. Akshita Singh Tomal, Akshita Singla, Alok Kumar, Amarjit Kumar. Ankit Kumavat Asta Shakya
आयुष गुप्ता देव श्रीवास्तव डिम्पल सतरा वाला दिनेश को गौरव शर्मा ईशिका सागवाल लोकेंद्र गुर्जर लोकेश जी मेघा रतुरी मोहम्मद आकिब खान मोनू मीना नीतू रचित मलिक शिवानी सिमरन बाटला सोनल सुबर्णा कन्ना सुमित तनुज मटोलिया उमेश कुमार विधि साहू विदीश ध्यानी विद्यांशु कुमार राय अश्विनी जोशी थैंक यू डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फिजिक्स सर आई प्रेजेंट टू यू द कैंडिडेट्स हु हैविंग कंप्लीटेड रिक्वायरमेंट्स ऑफ अवार्ड ऑफ डिग्री ऑफ मास्टर ऑफ साइंस इन फिजिक्स आर कंसिडर्ड वर्दी ऑफ रिसीविंग द सेम आई रिकमेंड दैट दे बी एडमिटेड टू द सेट डिग्री कनिका सैनवाल नेहा भारती प्रदीप ढाका राकेश सिंगला सारांश तनवर सार्थक समल प्रियांश शर्मा श्रेष्ठ सिमरन सुमित कुमार थैंक यू सर 
Some of the candidates who have successfully completed all the academic requirements for award of the MSc degree are not present here today. I recommend that each one of them be admitted to the said degree in absentia. I hereby confer the Master of Sciences in the respective discipline to the candidate who have not been able to be present on the convocation. Let the candidate for the award of the degree of Master of Business Administration be presented. Department of Humanities and Management. Sir, so I present to you the candidates who having completed requirements for award of degree of Master of Business Administration in Humanities and Management are considered worthy of receiving the same. I recommend that they be admitted to the said degree. Abhimanyu Singh Thakur. Adish Mahajan. Anna Sarangal. Anurag Chaudhary. Ashish Kumar, Deepak Kumar Verma, Garima, Gaurav Jakhu. Gitanjali Sharma, Kashish, Murapala Harsha, Neelam Kumari, Prakshit Thakur, Priyanka, Priyanshul Sharma, Radhika Khanna, Samriddhi Goel, Sarita Yadav, Shuvan Shupriya Darshan, Shweta Kapoor, Simran Juneja, Sumit Sharma, Sunny Kumar, T. Nihalani, Tanesh Kumar, Yogita Bhatti, thank you. Sir, some of the candidates who have successfully completed all the academic requirements for award of the Master of Business Administration degree are not present here today. I recommend that each one of them be admitted to the said degree in absentia. <coughs> I hereby confirm the Master of Business Administration in a respective discipline to the candidate who have not been able to be present on the convocation. Let the candidate for the award of the degree of Bachelor of Technology be presented. 
Department of Biotechnology. Sir, I present you the candidates who have completed requirements for award of degree of Bachelor of Technology in Biotechnology are considered worthy of receiving the same. I recommend that they be admitted to the said degree. Abhishek Jajoria. Aditya Thakur. Ansita Seth. Onsu Aritra Sanjeev Sen Asmit Kaur Kasi Sorora Mandeep Singh Minakshi Swamadasan Pillai Neha Dube Om Prakash Singh Pavan Kumar Ritika Sahil Kumar Sehaj Preet Kaur Sibam Kumar Shrest Pal Simrat Pin Kaur Tiratha Brahma Bijendar Kalmutia. Thank you. Department of Chemical Engineering, please. Sir, I present to you the candidates who, having completed requirements for award of degree of Bachelor of Technology in Chemical Engineering, are considered worthy of receiving the same. I recommend that they be admitted to the said degree. Hina Jindal. Midushi Sharma. Nikhil Kumar Sharma. Asta Snigda. Akash Patel, Amit Kumar Dhiman, Anchit Kaur, Anirudh Pal, Anurag Singh, Arshpreet Kaur, Arpit Katiyar, Arun Kumar Pandey, Balwinder Kaur, 
चिराग चिराग सेठी धारिया दुर्गेश ईश्वर मित्तल गायत्री अग्रवाल गीतिका अग्रवाल ग्लोरिया गोपाल मुंडा गुंतू राजू गुरनीत सिंह सेठी हरसिमरन कौर जशनप्रीत सिंह जसकीरत सिंह जसमीत सिंह जतिन सहारन जयेश कुमार वर्मा प्रज्योत राजेंद्र कामले कनक जयसवाल करमवीर सिंह कारी जसवंत कशिश सिंगला कोजा राम लविशा मलहर क्वात्रा मंकेश मीना मनोज कुमार मौनू प्रजापत मोहित कुमार नैन्सी वर्मा नेहा निधि खुंतेरा निशांत वशिष्ठ पशुबुला रश्मि प्रभात कुमार तिवारी प्रणव गेरा प्रवल प्रताप सिंह राधे कृष्णा रोशन कुमार रवि कुमार मीना रायदी साईं सिद्धार्थ रितिका अग्रवाल साहिल मलपोत्र सक्षम सीकरी सौजन्या वर्मा सौम्या 
शुभम शुभम चौधरी सिमरन सृष्टि वशिष्ठ स्टेफी सुरेश बेना बतुला तकदीर सिंह त्रिपत पाल सिंह वैभव कुमार जैन वी अशोक कुमार वरुण विजेंद्र कुमार बैरवा विनीत कुमार मिश्रा विनीता रतन विपिन सिंह यथार्थ वत्स वरुण कपूर थैंक यू सर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग प्लीज sir i present to you the candidates who having completed requirements for the award of degree of bachelor of technology in civil engineering are considered worthy of receiving the same i recommend that they be admitted to the said degree abhinandan sharma agrani saxena अजीत कुमार भारती अक्षिता बस्सी अंकित कुमार पांडे अंकुर गर्ग अटल अवनीत कौर दीप शिखा धूलीपला पवन कुमार गोल्डी हरमनप्रीत कौर हरमनप्रीत सिंह हरनूर सिंह बहल हर्षित पाल सिंह हेमकेश ऋतिक कुमार जयदो साई निखिल नायडू जशन जिंदल जशनदीप सिंह जसलीन कौर जसलीन 
जितेंद्र मेवारा केशव गर्ग किरण कुमारी कोमल विरदि लाघवेंद्र सिंह परमार महक भुरानी मानव यादव मनीष कुमार मोहित भट्टी मृदुल पांडे मुस्कान जोशी नकुल जिंदल नवेश नेहा जैन निखिल सिंह प्रथम जैन राहुल सागर राजेश चौधरी राम स्वरूप रवि राजा कायथोजू रॉबिन कुमार सादगी जोशी सागर सिंह मीना साक्षी मेहर सान्यम जैन सपना भारद्वाज श्रुति अग्रवाल शुभम कुमार साईं सिमरन यादव सोनू कुमार सैनी तलविंदर सिंह वात्सवाई वेंकटा अशोक वर्मा विनित बैरवा विनित रायसवाल वीरेंद्र यादव योगेश सिंगला शिवम सचदेवा शिफ्ती वधवान
देवेश कुमार मीना भुवनेश कुमार थैंक यू डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग सर आई प्रेजेंट टू यू द कैंडिडेट्स हु हैविंग कंप्लीटेड रिक्वायरमेंट्स फॉर अवार्ड ऑफ डिग्री of bachelor of technology in computer science and engineering are considered worthy of receiving the same i recommend that they be admitted to the said degree ayush vashne abhilasha saini abhishek garg आकांक्षा वर्मा आकाश अकृति शर्मा अमृतपाल सिंह अनमोल जैन अनमोल विरदि अनुज अर्षदीप सिंह अर्षित मित्तल अरुण राजीव अशोक कुमार मीना बलिहार सिंह भव्य गोयल दीपांशु सोनी देवांश गोयल गौरीशला ऋषिका गगनीत सिंह गर्वित कुमार गुप्ता गौतम भतेजा गुरमुख सिंह हरिओम हर्षदीप सिंह हर्षित शर्मा हर्षित सूद हर्षिता गर्ग हेमंत कुमार जागृत शर्मा कार्तिक खुशी लाल ललित वियोगी लक्ष्य पंडोरा लव शेर सिंह ममता बेटा प्लीज मेंटेन द डेकोरम मनन जैन मानव धीमान मान, 
ਮਨਦੀਪ ਕੌਰ ਮਨੂ ਮੁਸਕਾਨ ਕਾਲੀਆ ਨੰਦਨੀ ਨਵੀਨ ਕੁਮਾਰ ਨੀਤੂ ਨੀਤਿਸ਼ ਭਗਤ ਓਮ ਪ੍ਰਕਾਸ਼ ਪਾਰੁਲ ਮਹਾਜਨ ਪ੍ਰਭ ਸਾਗਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਪ੍ਰਥਮ ਬਾਂਸਰ ਪ੍ਰਿੰਸ ਪੁਲਕੇਤ ਰਿਤਿਕਾ ਰੋਹਨ ਬਾਂਸਰ रोहित साक्षी भाटिया संदीप कुमार संस्कार सावन पटेल सेजल शीतल जोशी शेफी शिखा कुमारी शिवम सूद श्रुति शर्मा शुभम सैनी शुभजोत सिंह सिद्धांत गुप्ता तन्नव अग्रवाल तरुण तारुष गुप्ता तुषाकर भारद्वाज तुषार तुषार लालावत तुषार उपाध्याय उनीशा उत्कर्ष तिवारी वंश वासु ग्रोवर विपुल चावला शिशिर यादव राहुल कुमार अमृतपाल सिंह राजकमल कुमार थैंक यू सर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग 
सर आई प्रेजेंट टू यू द कैंडिडेट्स हु हैविंग कंप्लीटेड रिक्वायरमेंट्स फॉर अवार्ड ऑफ डिग्री ऑफ बैचलर ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी इन इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग आर कंसिडर वर्दी टू वर्दी ऑफ रिसीविंग द सेम आई रिकमेंड दैट दे बी एडमिटेड टू द सैड डिग्री तनवी सिंगला अभिषेक कुमार एक मिनट हेलो बच्चे अभिषेक पाल अब जाओ चलो अभिषेक पांडे ऐश्वर्य विद्यानंद शेषराम मेषराम सॉरी अक्षत जिंदल अक्षय धनंजय पवार आलोक कुमार अमजद अनुराग मौर्य आशुतोष कुमार झा चिराग जैन दमनदीप सिंह दीपक कुमार मीना दीपांशी अग्रवाल गौरव वर्मा हरीश कुमार हर्ष तखी जिनेश टोड़ावत कनिका मेहरोत्रा किरणदीप कौर लव बंसल मनीष कुमार मुस्कान चतुर्वेदी नंदनी पवनप्रीत सिंह प्रज्वल चौहान प्रिंस प्रियांशु साहू रोहित नंदन सत्यम त्रिपाठी तुषार केंडो खंडेलवाल उत्कर्ष सलगोत्रा वैभव अग्रवाल वंश मिश्रा एंड वरुण पांडे थैंक यू डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग प्लीज सर आई प्रेजेंट टू यू द कैंडिडेट्स हु हैविंग कंप्लीटेड द रिक्वायरमेंट्स फॉर द अवार्ड ऑफ डिग्री ऑफ बैचलर ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी इन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग आर कंसिडर्ड वर्दी ऑफ रिसीविंग द सेम आई रिकमेंड दैट दे बी एडमिटेड टू दी सेट डिग्री 
अभिषेक कुमार आदित्य आशीष यादव अमनदीप वर्मा अनामिका सिंह अनु निम्मीवार अनुराग सिंह अर्पिता मीना आर्यन बागरी अथर लिमाए मनोज संतोष भाविश भुवन शर्मा बुके शंकर प्रिया चिटे ओम हर्षवर्धन दानिश महाजन दर्शन मीना दीपक हसीजा दीपक सिंह दीपांशु बंगा दीपांशु गाड़िया दीपेश सिंह दिव्यांशी अग्रवाल गौरव अग्रवाल हार्दिक प्रेशर हर्ष कृपलानी हरिषभ राग राज सोलंकी जयदीप सिंह सिकरी जसदीप सिंह जतिन जिंदल जतिन कुमार मित्तल कनिष्क था लक्ष्य गर्ग मधुर गुप्ता मयांक मयांक बागरी मेधा अग्रवाल नवीन कुमार नवनीत सिंह निमित जैन पंकज कुमार पार्थ सरस्वत
पवन कुमार पूजा अग्रवाल पोटा लोकेश प्रवीण कुमार प्रिंस मिश्रा प्रियतम अजर राहुल शर्मा रजत शर्मा रोशाली सभा मलिक साहिल संचित गोयल सार्थक गुप्ता सरबजोत सिंह सौरभ रावत साइशा गंभीर शायक मोहम्मद गूस शांतानु सिंह सिसोदिया शशांक अग्रवाल शाश्वत नारायण सिंह शिव कुमार शुभम सुमित कुमार तरनप्रीत चड्डा तेजवत नमीन सुशनदीप ओलख उपनीत कौर हुंजन वैभव मक्कड़ वंशिका सहोत्रा विनय सोहोत्रा विनायक अग्रवाल यश विजय वर्गीय यशिका यतिन बांसल योगेश श्रीनव खंडेलवाल मिलनप्रीत सिंह थैंक यू सर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियल एंड प्रोडक्शन इंजीनियरिंग प्लीज 
So, I present to you the candidates who having completed requirements for the award of degree of Bachelor of Technology in Industrial and Production Engineering are considered worthy of receiving the same. I recommend that they be admitted to the said degree. Ravina. Grace Garg. Aditya Dube Abhishek Meena Abhiyud Gupka Adarsh Bajpai Ajay Kumar Akash Rajan Akash Singh Yadav Amit Swami Anjesh Kumar Verma Aparna P. Pramod Ashok Meena Avinesh Pandey Bhavya Ambastha Dhruv Rai Dhruv Upadhyay Dinkar Sharma <coughs> Erika Rai Gagandeep Singh Gayatri Gaurav Lalotra Harshit Jain Himan Shubha Lot Ishan Sharma Jasmine Kaur Jatin Chauhan Khushash Deep Singh Khushash Deep Kumar Kushagra Raj Lakhan Kumavat Lakma Sati Lasya Lavish Gurg Mani Kumar Singh Manish Kumar Nalin Shirvastava 
नवप्रीत कौर भाटिया निखिल भारती नितेश के यादव नीतीश कुमार पंकज परिमल अग्रवाल पिंदर सिंह रजत गर्ग राम निवास धाकर राम सिंह मीना रवलीन कौर रोहित मीना रुचि रे संदीप कुमारी संदीप सिंह रुको शिवम शिवांशु सिंह सिद्धार्थ सुधांश महाजन सुधांशु कुमार मिश्रा स्वाति जैन सैयद अरीज तितिर विश्वास उदय अग्रवाल उत्तम कुमार शर्मा वैशाली अग्रवाल विद्यांश कुमार विजय पाल विकास कुमार विनय तिवारी विशाल विशाल कुमार याला दीपक रेड्डी युवराज सिंह यादव थैंक यू सर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी सो आई प्रेजेंट टू यू द कैंडिडेट्स हु हैविंग कंप्लीटेड रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर अवार्ड ऑफ डिग्री ऑफ बैचलर ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी इन इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी are considered worthy of receiving the same i recommend that they may be admitted to the said degree erne jana adesh kumar anchal choudhary akshat joshi अनिष्का सिंगल अनुभव गुप्ता
ਅਨੁਜ ਕੁਮਾਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਅਨੁਸ਼ਾ ਗਰਗ ਏਆਨ ਗੁਪਤਾ ਦੀਪਾਲੀ ਗੋਇਲ ਫਲਕ ਗगन ਵਾਲੀਆ ਹਿਮਾਂਸ਼ੂ ਜਿੰਦਲ ਜਗਮੀਤ ਸਿੰਘ ਜਾਨਵੀ ਕੁਮਾਰ ਜਸ਼ਨ ਅਲੀ ਜਤਨ ਜੈ ਗੁਪਤਾ ਨਵੀਨ ਕੁਮਾਰ ਜੈਸਵਾਲ ਕੇਸ਼ਵ ਵਾਰਸ਼ਾ ਨੇ ਲਵ ਸਹਿਜ ਵੀਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਮਨਪ੍ਰੀਤ ਕੌਰ ਨਿਸ਼ਾਂਤ ਮੀਨਾ ਪਿਊਸ਼ ਕੁਮਾਰ ਪ੍ਰਤਿਮਾ ਮੋਰਿਆ ਰਾਹੁਲ ਅਰੋੜਾ ਰਣਵੀਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਰੋਹਿਤ ਕੁਮਾਰ ਰੋਹਿਤ ਰਾਜ ਰੁਚੀ ਸਨੁਜ ਸੂਦ ਸੈਨ ਪੌਲ ਸੈਅਦ ਸੁਹੈਬ ਸ਼ਫਾਲੀ ਜੈਨ ਸੋਨੂ ਕੁਮਾਰ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਡਿਪਾਰਟਮੈਂਟ ਆਫ ਇਨਸਟਰੂਮੈਂਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਐਂਡ ਕੰਟਰੋਲ ਇੰਜੀਨੀਅਰਿੰਗ ਪਲੀਜ਼ ਸਰ ਆਈ ਪ੍ਰੈਜ਼ੈਂਟ ਟੂ ਯੂ ਦੀ ਕੈਂਡੀਡੇਟਸ ਹੂ ਹੈਵ ਕੰਪਲੀਟਡ ਰਿਕੁਆਇਰਮੈਂਟ ਫॉर ਅਵਾਰਡ ਆਫ ਡਿਗਰੀ ਆਫ ਬੈਚਲਰ ਆਫ ਟੈਕਨੋਲੋਜੀ ਇਨ ਇਨਸਟਰੂਮੈਂਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਐਂਡ ਕੰਟਰੋਲ ਇੰਜੀਨੀਅਰਿੰਗ ਕੰਸੀਡਰਡ ਵਰਦੀ ਆਫ ਸੇਵਿੰਗ ਦਿ ਸੇਮ i recommend that they may be admitted to this said degree sanjeev kumar ayush mittal abhishek akul rahul ranga अमित अनंत अंजलि वर्मा प्लीज मेंटेन डेकोरम इन द हॉल अंकिता अग्रवाल प्लीज बी क्वाइट
आयुष कुमार गुप्ता पवीत सिंगला दर्पण जैन दीप शिखा दिवांश प्रजापति हर्ष किशोर हर्षा वर वरदान हर्षदीप सिंह हर्षित न्याति हिमांशु शेखर ऋतिक लोहानी हिराल दतुलिया इशिता मित्तल कोमल कोमल कुमारी कृष गर्ग रवीश गर्ग मनीषा सबलानी मंकेश मीना मानसी राय मेघा गुप्ता मनीष यादव नाज नरेंद्रा बस बिसु नवताज सिंह पायल बांसल पूजा राहुल कुमार राहुल कुमार राहुल सिंह रजत शर्मा ऋचा रानी ऋषभ सोनी ऋषि एस त्रिवेणी समीक्षा पूरी शरणदीप कौर शिव शंभू शिवम सूद शिवाली सिद्धार्थ
ਸਿਮਰਪ੍ਰੀਤ ਕੌਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਰੇ ਸੁਗਮ ਮਹਿਤਾ ਤੁਸ਼ਾਰ ਤੁਸ਼ਾਰ ਬਿਰਦੀ ਉਪੇਸ਼ ਯਾਦਵ ਵਿਗੀਸ਼ਾ ਉਮੇਸ਼ ਚੰਦਰਾ ਵਿਕਾਸ ਵਿਕਾਸ ਕੁਮਾਰ ਮਿਨਾਇਕ ਭਾਰਤਵਾਜ ਯਸ਼ ਗੁਪਤਾ ਯੁਕਤ ਕਟਾਰੀਆ ਚੰਦਰਕੇਸ਼ ਸਿੰਘ ਦੀਪਕ ਯਾਦਵ ਮਲਾਇਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਯਾਦਵ ਰਾਹੁਲ ਰਜਤ ਅੰਸ਼ੂਲ ਦਿਵਿਆ ਸਿੰਘ ਹਾਰਦਿਕ ਚੋਪੜਾ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਡਿਪਾਰਟਮੈਂਟ ਆਫ ਮੈਕੈਨੀਕਲ ਇੰਜੀਨੀਅਰਿੰਗ ਪਲੀਸ ਸਰ ਆਈ ਪ੍ਰੈਜ਼ੈਂਟ ਟੂ ਯੂ ਦ ਕੈਂਡੀਡੇਟਸ ਹੂ ਹੈਵਿੰਗ ਕੰਪਲੀਟਡ ਰਿਕੁਆਇਰਮੈਂਟਸ ਫॉर ਅਵਾਰਡ ਆਫ ਡਿਗਰੀ ਆਫ ਬੈਚਲਰ ਆਫ ਟੈਕਨੋਲੋਜੀ ਇਨ ਮੈਕੈਨੀਕਲ ਇੰਜੀਨੀਅਰਿੰਗ ਆਰ ਕੰਸੀਡਰਡ ਵਰਦੀ ਆਫ ਰਿਸੀਵਿੰਗ ਦ ਸੇਮ ਆਈ ਰეკਮੈਂਡ ਥੈਟ ਦੇ ਬੀ ਐਡਮਿਟਡ ਟੂ ਦ ਸੈਟ ਡਿਗਰੀ ਅਭਿਸ਼ੇਕ ਕੁਮਾਰ ਅਮਨ ਕੁਮਾਰ ਮੀਨਾ ਅਮਨਦੀਪ ਕੁਮਾਰ ਅਮਿਕੁਲ ਬਸੁਰ अनिरुद्ध शर्मा अशमान जगदेव आशुतोष दर्पण मित्तल देवांश दिवांशु बंसल फरहीन रियाज गौरव कुमार गुरजंट सिंह गुरशान सिंह ਹਰਜਿੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਹਰਲੀਨ ਕੌਰ ਹਰਮਨਜੋਤ ਸਿੰਘ ਹਰਨੂਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਜਸ਼ਨ ਸਿੰਘਲਾ ਕਰਨ ਸੇਠੀ करिश्मा कुमारी कृतिका उपाध्याय लक्ष्य गोयल लव सबरवाल
महावीर मीना मेघा बहोट नमन निखिल भारद्वाज नितेश गुप्ता राघव बहल पर्व बंसल रमन कुमार ऋषि शर्मा रितिका कौशिक रोहित यादव रुपिंदरजीत सिंह सचिन कुमार सौरभ नेगी शिवम सैनी शिवांश गोयल शिवकांत श्रेयसी श्याम चौधरी स्मिता यादव तरुण चौधरी तुषार उत्तमजीत सिंह विशाल गुलाटी विश्वजीत सिंह यश कुमार यडला कौशिक बानोथू श्यामला अभिषेक कुमार थैंक यू डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ टेक्सटाइल टेक्नोलॉजी प्लीज सर आई प्रेजेंट टू यू द कैंडिडेट्स हु हैविंग कंप्लीटेड द रिक्वायरमेंट्स फॉर अवार्ड ऑफ डिग्री ऑफ बैचलर ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी इन टेक्सटाइल टेक्नोलॉजी आर कंसिडर्ड वर्दी ऑफ रिसीविंग द सेम आई रिकमेंड दैट दे बी एडमिटेड टू द सेट डिग्री आगम जैन अभय कुमार मीना Anjali Madhur Anju Ankush Kamboj Annu Kumari Anup Saroj अवनील कौर चिराग डांग एकता पारुल गुरलीन सबरवाल ईशा कुमारी जसलीन कौर मंदोती रमा कल्याणी मोहम्मद मुक्तदीर मुक्तदीर 
नवनीत तिवाड़ी नेहा कुमारी नितिन गर्ग परविंदर सिंह प्रियंका अग्रवाल संदीप कुमार संगीता सौरभ साबू शांभवी प्रसर शिवा खन्ना शुभम जैन सुमित चेतल उमाशंकर विधि पसरीचा विजय एंड विक्रांत भाटिया थैंक यू Sir, some of the candidates who have successfully completed all the academic requirements for award of the B Tech degree and are not present here today, I recommend that each one of them be admitted to the said degree in absentia. I hereby confer the degree of the Bachelor of Technology in the respective discipline to the candidate who have not been able to be present on the convocation. Let the records of the degrees be presented to the chairman, board of governors, for his signatures. by virtue of the authority of vested in me as a chair chairman of the senate of the dr b r ambedkar national institute of technology jalandhar i do hereby admitted admit each of these candidate to be the degree of phd master of technology master of sciences master of business administration and the bachelor of technology in the respective discipline and charge of charge them to prove worthy of the throatful their lips i will now request our worthy director for exhortation i request all the degree recipi recipients to please stand up for the exhortation remember that your knowledge and intellectual attainment is the most sacred wealth of the nation you shall therefore use it in a manner befitted the honor and dignity of your country and of your alma mater you shall make every effort at all circumstances to uphold the dignity your profession and integrity of your character you should endeavor in every way through thought word and action to being to bring about the well-being of a people 
यू मस्ट लिव ए वेल डिसिप्लिन लाइफ नेवर फॉर गेट द कमांडमेंट ऑफ द सेक्रेट स्क्रिप्चर एंड इंस्टीट्यूट मोटो कैन टेक योर सीट्स नाउ i request our worthy director and registrar to honor the chief guest his excellency dr samir p kamat secretary department of defense r and d and chairman drdo with a memento please I request registrar to honor the chairman board of governors please honorable dr samir v g kamath secretary department of defense r and d and chairman drdo chief guest for the 19th convocation on behalf of board of governors institute senate director cum chairman bog and chairman senate faculty staff and student and students of nit jalandhar i am grateful to you sir for spending your precious time with us on the occasion of the 19th annual convocation of the institute it was indeed a great moment for all of us to see to see you at this institute of national importance <clears throat> i am also grateful to professor binod kumar kanojia director cum chairman bog and chairman cnet members of bog cnet deans especially dean academic dr harsh verma and his team faculty officers and staff who made sincere efforts to make this convocation a success i thank and wish best of luck to every student being part of the institute i am also thankful to the media personnel for sparing their valuable time for covering the proceedings of the convocation towards the end i would like to add that graduation post graduation or phd is not the end it is just the beginning i would like to quote dr apj abdul kalam once again quote thinking should become your capital asset no matter whatever ups and downs you come across in your life with these words i thank one and all who is present in this hall and who had been instrumental in making this convocation a success jai hind jai bharat i request the chairman bog to kindly declare the 19th convocation of dr b r ambedkar National Institute of Technology close I declare the 19th convocation of Dr B R Ambedkar National Institute of Technology close all are requested to stand up for national anthem please janagana mana adhinayak jaya he bharat bhagya vidhata punjab sindh gujarat maratha dravida uttar banga hind himachal yamuna ganga 
चल जल तरंगा तव शुभ नामे जागे तव शुभ आशीष मांगे गाहे तव जय गाथा जन गण मंगल दायक जय हे पालक भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 हे all are requested to stand while the academic procession will leave the hall please keep standing Chagra 